The Johnsbo UMX OnePlus was my first Mini ITX PC case 6 years ago, which sparked an obsession for the Mini ITX form factor. I love the design and the incredible good build quality. And to this day I think this is one of the best looking Mini ITX PC cases. But as much as I like it, it's objectively a bad PC case. Someone at Johnsbo thought it was a good idea for a gaming PC to have no intake fans. And yes, they do market this as a gaming PC case. And if this wasn't stupid enough, they thought, hey, let's put the power supply in the middle of the case without its own air channel, so that the hot air can circulate inside. Also, they solved the problem with the non-existent cable management by simply leaving out most of the cables in this picture. I have modded my personal Johnsbo UMX OnePlus to get rid of this mentioned issues and asked you guys if you would be interested in a video about it. The result was clear. So let's discuss how I turned this beautiful mess into the perfect mini ITX PC case. First let's talk about the bottom fence mod that I made around 2 years ago. Unfortunately there's no video about the process, only some pictures that I took to show it to my friends. This was long before I even thought about a YouTube channel. In stock form this PC case has only two fan mounts in the upper half. The problem with that is that some of the hot air circulates around the graphics card and some of the air circulates around the power supply. This causes the components to become very hot and loud. I solved the problem with the missing intake fans by cutting out the bottom part of the case and 3D printing brackets for two 100mm fans. This was the first time that I cut metal with my Dremel tool and it looked horrible. Luckily. It looks quite nice with the brackets on and nobody can see the bad metalwork underneath. This mod improved the airflow drastically and my PC went from hot and loud to cool and quiet. Unfortunately during the process I had to cut the mountings for the additional hard drives and was stuck with only one NVMe slot on the mainboard. And now let's talk about the more recent modifications that I made this summer. In order to have a mount for a 2.5 inch hard drive again, I 3D printed this 2.5 inch hard drive to 80mm fan mount adapter that I found on Thingiverse. To hide the cables in the upper part of the PC, I came up with this part. The idea is to screw it to the upper case fan and hide the cables behind it. It was very time consuming and fiddly to hide the cables behind it, because there were a lot of cables in a very small space. I should have added some hooks to the part to attach the cables behind it. Nevertheless, the result was very good, as you will see later in the video. I also designed a second part in order to hide the cables in the lower part of the PC that is also meant to be screwed on a case fan. Installing this part took only a few minutes because there were fewer cables in a wider space. Unfortunately, I forgot to press the record button on my phone when I installed this part, so there's no footage of the installation process. This is what my PC looked before the cable management mod and this is what it looks like now. I'm very happy how it turned out and I also installed the RGB CPU fan for some extra FPS. I 3D printed the parts with PLA filament which can deform at around 70 degrees celsius. Just to be sure, I put a thermometer in my PC case while I was gaming. I got the highest CPU and GPU load by pointing the camera to the sky in The Last of Us, which I did for around 20 minutes. During that time the temperature went up to 43 degrees celsius, far away from the 70 degrees where the PLA plastic could deform. Also the thermometer was in the hottest part inside the PC case, which could be easily felt by hand. All in all, I'm very happy how it turned out. What do you think about the modifications? Would you have done anything differently? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching and leave a like if you liked the video and consider subscribing. See you in the next one.